Fernando Luz Rosa, or simply Fernandinho, is a Brazilian professional footballer who plays for English club Manchester City and the Brazil national team. He started his career at Brazilian club Atla Copyrightico Paranaense before moving to Shakhtar Donetsk in 2005, where he became one of the best foreign players to ever play in the Ukraine Premier League. With Shakhtar, he won six Ukrainian Premier League titles, four Ukrainian Cups and the 2008 Euro 09 UEFA Cup. He was voted for the Shakhtar Donetsk fans as the best Brazilian player to ever play for the team. A full international for Brazil since 2011, he was part of their squad which came fourth at the 2014 FIFA World Cup. He is well known for his blistering pace and ability to shoot from long distances. He is described as a defensive midfielder with a box-to-box -box style of play, contributing in large part to the defense and the attack. With a powerful shot and great passing range, Fernandinho has played an important part in breaking up opposition attacks and creating goal-scoring opportunities. Club career, Atla Copyright Tico Paranaense, Fernandinho began his career at Atla Copyright Tico Paranaense alongside his future Shakhtar teammate Jardson. In Atletico Paranaense he was runners-up of both the Brazilian First Division and the Libertadores da América, in 2005. He made 72 appearances for the club, scoring 14 goals, before moving to Ukrainian side Shakhtar Donetsk for a fee of around a £7 million. Shakhtar Donetsk, 2005 a Euro 08, in his first season as a Shakhtar player he played 34 matches, including 23 league appearances, and scored three goals, with one coming in the league. Shakhtar were victorious in the Super Cup. However Fernandinho did not play in the match. He played in the championship deciding match between Shakhtar and Dynamo Kiev, who were level on 75 points after all 30 games had been played, in which Shakhtar prevailed to a Euro 1 to take the title. This marked Fernandinho's first league title with Shakhtar. He made 25 league appearances in the 2006 Euro 07 season as Shakhtar finished second to Dynamo Kiev. They also finished as runners-up in the Ukrainian Cup and Ukrainian Super Cup. In the 2007 Euro 08 season Shakhtar regained the championship with Fernandinho playing a pivotal role by scoring 11 goals, including one from the penalty spot, in 29 league appearances. He failed to appear in just one league match during the season. Shakhtar were also victorious in the Ukrainian Cup, giving Fernandinho his first cup success. However they were defeated in the Super Cup by Dynamo Kiev for the second year in a row. After the match finished 2 a Euro 2, it went to penalties and, although Fernandinho converted a penalty, Shakhtar lost 4 a Euro 2. 2008 a Euro 09. On July 15, 2008, Fernandinho played in the Super Cup victory against Dynamo Kiev. The match went to penalties after the two teams drew 1 a Euro 1 at the end of extra time. Fernandinho scored one of the penalties to help Shakhtar to a 5 a Euro 3 win in the shootout. He scored the equalizing goal in a 1 a Euro 1 draw with Carpati LVIV on July 27. On August 3 he picked up a 63rd minute red card in a 3 a Euro 0 victory over Ali Chivitz Mariupol. On August 31 he scored a penalty in a 2 a Euro 2 draw against Metal Use Parizal. On September 16 he scored the opening goal in a 2 a Euro 1 Champions League victory against Swiss club Basel. On November 8, he scored the opening goal in a 2 a Euro 0 victory against Tavria Simferopol. On December 9 he scored a goal in Shakhtar's 3 a Euro 2 away win against Spanish side Barcelona in the Champions League group stage match. On February 26, 2009, Fernandinho scored the equalising goal in Shakhtar's 1 Euro 1 away leg draw against English team Tottenham Hotspur in the UEFA Cup. Shakhtar won the tie 3 Euro 1 on aggregate. On March 7, he scored the only goal, a penalty, in a 1 Euro 0 victory against Niprodnarpropetrovsk. On March 15, he opened the scoring from the penalty spot in a 3 Euro 0 victory against Metalist Kharkiv. On March 19 he scored a penalty in Shakhtar's 2 a Euro 0 victory over Russian team CSKA Moscow in the UEFA Cup. 
Shokhtar won the tie to a Euro 1 on aggregate. On April 16 he netted a goal in a 2 Euro 1 UEFA Cup win against Marseille. Shokhtar emerged victorious from the tie with a 4 Euro 1 aggregate win. He also scored a pivotal equalising goal in the first leg of the UEFA Cup semi-final match against Dynamo Kiev which finished 1 Euro 1. Shokhtar advanced to the final by virtue of a 3 Euro 2 aggregate victory after securing a 2 Euro 1 win at the Donbass Arena in the second leg. Shokhtar won the UEFA Cup with a 2 Euro 1 victory over German side Werder Bremen in the last UEFA Cup before it was renamed the UEFA Europa League. He made 42 total appearances, including 21 in the league, and scored 11 goals, including 5 in the league. In the 2008 Euro 09 season, 2009 Euro 10, the 2009 Euro 10 season saw Shokhtar lift the Premier League trophy. Fernandinho's first goal came on July 29, in a 2 Euro 2 Champions League draw against Politina Kutimiera in the third qualifying round, however, Shokhtar were knocked out of the competition, losing on away goals after a 0 Euro 0 draw at home. On September 20 he scored a penalty in a 4 Euro 2 victory over Arsenal Kiev. He scored two goals in a 5 Euro 1 victory over Carpe de Lviv on October 18, including one from the penalty spot. On October 22 the first goal, a penalty, in a 4 Euro 0 victory against French side to lose in the Europa League. He scored a 93rd minute goal in a 2 Euro 0 Ukrainian Cup victory against Dynamo Kiev on October 28. On December 6, he scored a penalty to open the scoring in a 2 Euro 0 win over Krivbos. On March 24, he scored a 92nd minute goal against Metal Donetsk in the Ukrainian Cup, however, it proved to be only a consolation goal as Shokhtar lost the match 2 Euro 1. Fernandini made 24 league appearances netting four times. He made a total of 39 appearances with eight goals. 2010 Euro 11, in the following season Fernandini played in the 7 Euro 1 Super Cup win over Tavria on July 4. On July 18, he netted an equalizing goal in a 1 Euro 1 draw with Metaluse Parizor. On August 7 he scored the opening goal in a 5 Euro 0 win over Sevastopol. He also played a part in the 1 Euro 0 UEFA Super Cup defeat to Barcelona on August 28. He suffered a broken leg in a 1 Euro 0 defeat to a ball on Kiev on September 10, which was expected to rule him out for the entire season. He eventually returned on April 1, 2011, after almost seven months out of action in a 3 Euro 1 victory over Elichavitz Mariupol. He scored a late 94th minute match winning goal in a 2 Euro 1 victory over Tavria, his first goal since returning from injury. On May 25, he played the full 90 minutes in Shokhtar's 2 Euro 0 Ukrainian Cup final victory over Dynamo Kiev. At the end of the season, Shokhtar won the championship, with Fernandinho contributing three goals from his 15 league appearances. They managed to win three prizes. 2011 a Euro 12, Fernandini began the 2011 a Euro 12 season with Shokhtar's only goal in a 3 a Euro 1 Super Cup defeat to Dynamo. On July 31st he scored Shokhtar's only goal in a match against Arsenal Kiev, however a 95th minute equaliser prevented them from winning the match and taking all three points. He netted a goal in a 3 a Euro 1 victory against Dniprodnerpropetrovsk on August 13. On November 27 he scored the second goal, from a penalty, in a 5 Euro 0 victory over Carpe de Lviv. On April 27, he scored a penalty in a 4 Euro 3 Ukrainian Cup match against Volyn Lutsk. He netted the winning goal in a 2 Euro 1 victory against Metalist Kharkiv on May 2. He scored six goals in 32 appearances, with 24 appearances and four goals in the league, over the season. He played in the Ukrainian Cup final victory over Metal Udonetsk. At the end of the season, with his contract due to expire, he signed a new five-year contract with the club until 2016. Shokhtar retained the league title for the third year in a row, Fernandinu's fifth overall with the club, and also secured another cup trophy, their second in a row. 
2012 a Euro 13, he started the 2012 a Euro 13 season by assisting Douglas Costa for the second goal in a 2 a Euro 0 Super Cup victory over Metal Donetsk. This marked his fourth success in the Super Cup with Shakhtar. He assisted Yevon Salitsyov's goal in the 3 a Euro 1 victory over Hovela. He netted a late goal to earn Shakhtar three points in a 1 a Euro 0 win over Krugbers. He assisted Henrik Mkhitaryan for the first goal in a 4 a Euro 1 victory over Buskla. On September 23 he scored a goal in a 4 a Euro 1 Ukrainian Cup last 32 victory against Dynamo Kiev and was named man of the match. He assisted Henrik Mkhitaryan for the second goal in a 2 a Euro 0 victory against Metalist Kharkiv on October 7. Fernandinho scored the second goal in a 2 Euro 1 victory against English side Chelsea in the Champions League group stage on October 23, shooting low with his right foot into the bottom corner. Manchester City On June 6, 2013, Fernandinho became Manchester City's first signing of the summer, for a fee of a £34 million. He signed a four-year deal and is understood to have waived around a four million pounds owed to him by Shakhtar in order to complete the transfer as he was desperate to secure a move away from the Ukrainian club. During his time at Shakhtar Donetsk, the Brazilian wore the number seven shirt, but due to Manchester City midfielder James Milner already occupying the number, Fernandinho had to choose another. In an interview with Manchester City, Fernandinho recalled a conversation with his son in which his son said my dad is the new number 25 feet, and so Fernandinho subsequently chose 25 as his new number. 2013 a Euro 14, Fernandinho made his Premier League debut on August 19, 2013 against Newcastle United in a 4 a Euro 0 home win. He scored his first two goals for Manchester City on December 14, 2013 against Arsenal in a 6 a Euro 3 home win and was also named Man of the Match. On January 1, 2014, he scored his third goal of the season in a 2 a Euro 3 away win against Swansea City. On February 2, Fernandinho sustained a thigh injury in training, which kept him out of action for two weeks. On March 2, Fernandinho appeared for City in the Football League Cup final against Sunderland, where he won his first trophy in England with a 3 a Euro 1 win. On May 11, Fernandinho was part of the squad who secured the Premier League title in a 2 a Euro 0 win against West Ham United. He did not start the game, but appeared as a substitute for striker Eden Dar three quarters eco in the 69th minute. 2014 a Euro 15 season on November 5, 2014, in a Champions League group match against CSKA Moscow, Fernandinho replaced Giza S. Navas at half-time with City 1 a Euro 2 down at home. He was sent off in the 70th minute for a second booking, with teammate Yautura copyright following later, as the team lost and fell to last place in the group. International career On August 11, 2011, Fernandinho made his first appearance for the Brazil national team in a 3 a Euro 2 friendly defeat against Germany. He won four further caps during the 2011 a Euro 12 season but did not appear in another Celia Picavolt Poundo squad until February 2014. On March 5, 2014, Fernandinho scored his first international goal on his return to the Brazil team in a 5 a Euro 0 win over South Africa. In May 2014, he was named in Brazil's squad for the 2014 FIFA World Cup. Fernandinho made his tournament debut as a half-time substitute for Paulinho in the third game of the group stage, scoring the last goal in the 4 Euro 1 victory against Cameroon. He was then selected in the starting lineup for Brazil's penalty shootout defeat of Chile in the round of 16. Fernandinho played a full match against Colombia in the quarterfinals. Personal life Fernandinho is married and has one son. Fernandinho speaks Portuguese, Russian, Italian and Spanish and is learning English. Fernandinho is a Christian and says that Jesus is his biggest inspiration. Career statistics, in Europe, as of November 3, 2014, international, as of July 12, 2014. International goals, scores and results list Brazil's goal tally first. Honours, club. Atletico Paranaense, Copa Libertadores, runner-up, 2005, Shakhtar Donetsk, Ukrainian Premier League, 
2005 a Euro 06, 2007 a Euro 08, 2009 a Euro 10, 2010 a Euro 11, 2011 a Euro 12, 2012 a Euro 13, Ukrainian Cup, 2007 a Euro 08, 2010 a Euro 11, 2011 a Euro 12, 2012 a Euro 13, Ukrainian Super Cup, 2008, 2010, 2012, UEFA Cup, 2008 a Euro 09, Manchester City, Premier League, 2013, a Euro 14, Football League Cup, 2013 a Euro 14, International, Brazil, FIFA World Youth Championship, 2003, Individual, Shokhtar Donetsk Player of the Season, 2007 a Euro 08, Top Player of the Ukrainian Premier League, 2007 a Euro 08, who scored. Com Premier League Newcomers 11, 2013 14. References External links Official website Fernandini profile at FC Shawkhtar Donetsk website